not going to stay very long. Mother Montgomery is very ill. We don't want to wear her out. How bad is it? The doctor says it's just a matter of time. There's nothing they can do? Just keep her comfortable. Hey, I just figured out why you guys think she's going deaf. <laughs> Hi, Mother. Hello, Grandmother. Mother, Montgomery, we remember Dharma from the wedding, don't we? Well, I do, but if you're having trouble, you might want to cut out those lunchtime martinis. <laughs> Grandmother, the, uh, the doctor says you're doing much better. Much better. That's what he says. Much better. What do you think, Dharma? Doesn't really matter what I think. What do you think? I think I'm dying. You know. I'm so glad you know, you guys. She knows. We don't have to whisper anymore. Gregory, will you please tell Dharma to wrap it up? What do you want me to do? They're ordering Thai food. <laughs> an order of uh, pud prick pow pud prick pow <laughs> T tell him you want extra pow pile on the pow <laughs> beatrice you're on a restricted diet oh please i'm dying i should be chain smoking cigarettes wrapped in bacon <laughs> mother no one's dying you are not dying okay, excuse me i do not understand why we can't talk about this Beatrice, have you picked out a coffin yet? Oh, oh. yes. <laughs> well, Dharma, no. I don't want to spend a lot of money on something that's just going into the ground. Mm -hmm. I know what you mean. I want my body to be cremated. But my head? I want my head shot out of a cannon. <laughs> Dharma, this is very distasteful, and nobody wants to talk about it. I do. I want to talk about my funeral. I want to talk about who's going to get this stuff here. But every time I bring it up, somebody changes the subject. Oh, look at that squirrel. He's a fat one. <laughs> Dharma, since you're the only one who's comfortable with this, is there anything here you want? Really? Anything at all. <laughs> well, um, well, does that old violin still work? I should hope so. It's a Stradivarius. <laughs> Go ahead, take it out of the case. <sighs> Beatrice, you wouldn't dare. Does Dharma play? No. Oh, this ought to be good. <laughs> you are leaving that to the National Gallery. Let them have that ugly Monet in the bathroom they keep bothering me about. <laughs> the Stradivarius is priceless. So is that expression on your face. <laughs> I want to die knowing that someone's going to play the damn thing. <sighs> Edward, say something. Oh, he's got a fat little friend, too. <laughs> yeah, that one's fat. That one's fat. Give it a try, dear. <laughs> you cannot let her learn to play the violin on a Stradivarius. You're just puckered at both ends, aren't you? <laughs> Here, go ahead. Here goes. <laughs> Wow, imagine how bad a cheap one would sound. What do you think, Greg? Well, honey, if this is something uh, you'd be interested in, I think you should take some lessons. Oh, uh, hold on there, Greg. I mean, lessons are just imposing society's idea on how to play the violin. Yeah. Greg, nobody really needs lessons to express their inner music. Dharma does. <laughs> we, we all do. You, you need lessons to play the violin. <laughs> You do. I know you do. I'm not making this up. This is not some sort of political thing. You need lessons to play the violin. Whoa. 
Well, where did that come from? <laughs> That's my Justin. He also plays the flute. Violin and flute. Are you trying to get him killed? <laughs> <laughs> Which one is yours? The big blonde one. <laughs> she just got her braces off. Adorable, isn't she? <laughs> she seems a bit mature to be in a beginning violin class. She's ten and a half. <clears throat> <laughs> Doctors say by the time she's in high school, she'll be 20 feet tall. <laughs> Does anyone need any help tuning? Yes, I do, please. Okay. I can show you a little trick here. <laughs> Holy God. <laughs> where, where did you get this? It's a Stradivarius. I know. Do, do you mind if I... Oh. Good luck. I can't get it to do much. <laughs> oh, okay. I see what you're doing. Okay. Here, let me try that out. you rather come in here, dear? Oh, no, Greg says it sounds better outside. <laughs> Where is he? I oh. don't know. He keeps going to the store for stuff. <laughs> uh, Dama, may I, may I see the bow for just a moment, please? Oh, sure. Thank you. <laughs> now, we have to talk about the violin. It belongs in a museum. Mm -mm, Beatrice wants it to be played. No, what Beatrice wants is to irritate me. And she's found a way of doing it long after she's gone to a grave. Yeah. What is the deal with you two? There's no reason to go into it. All right, fine. I'll just practice my scales. No, don't. <laughs> I will tell you. Edward's mother had a very set notion of who her son would marry. Really? Yes. And then her son came home with this young, blonde, free-thinking Vassar girl on his arm. So she didn't welcome you into the family? Oh, far from it. Frankly, she made my life miserable. Nothing I could do pleased her. The witch! <laughs> Starting with the marriage, which she said was just an impulsive, rash decision. Kitty, does this remind you of any other situation? No, I don't think so. Think harder. <laughs> oh, you're right! It is rather like Cinderella. Okay, I gave it a shot. Um, Kitty, did you, uh, did you ever try telling Beatrice how you felt about this? There is no point, Dama. The woman detests me. Did you know, there is an engagement ring in that family that has been passed down for generations, and she wouldn't let Edward give it to me. You know what? She's dying now. Dama, that's a small comfort. <laughs> Did you ever think that maybe your feud with Beatrice has hurt Greg's relationship with her? I don't think one thing has anything to do with the other. Kitty, he's never gotten close to his grandmother because he doesn't want it to look like he's taking sides. I have never said anything to Gregory about spending time with his grandmother. Oh, you don't have to say anything. You just have to throw him a kitty. <laughs> a kitty? <laughs> oh, I don't do that. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. She's gone. Oh, dear. I knew this day was coming, but I never thought I... Oh, Beatrice. We made each other miserable over the years, didn't we? Well, for my part, I want you to know... I'm sorry. I'll bet. <laughs> Oh, you are an awful 
horrible, vile old woman, and I will dance on your grave. <laughs> Not with those fat ankles. <laughs> Take a fur home. <laughs> How is this my fault? Did you or did you not encourage my mother to be open and emotionally vulnerable with my grandmother? Yeah. And did you or did you not encourage my grandmother to live these last days to their fullest, to have some fun, to do the things that she's always wanted to do? How could I have possibly seen this coming? <laughs> Dharma, Dharma, all I'm saying is that my family has a way of dealing with situations like this. What way? No one in your family wants to acknowledge that the woman's dying. We acknowledge it? How? Well, I... I mm -hmm. bought her that bathrobe she's using while she's dying. <laughs> Wait a minute. You bought me a bathrobe for Christmas? Were you trying to tell me something? Dharma. <laughs> Greg, what about saying goodbye to her before she dies? What about helping her through the whole process? Dharma, just stay out of it. I know you love your grandmother, and I've never even once seen you give her a hug. Well, maybe we're not huggers. Maybe we don't do things the way your family does. Maybe we're doing this wrong, but it's our way. And I'm not going to say it again. Stay out of it. Fine. Thank you. <laughs> then he's all, and I'm not going to say it again. Stay out of it. <laughs> B, I know I told you to have fun, but what you did to Kitty was mean. It was really mean. But it was funny, though. But still, you scared the whiz out of her. Literally? You know that for sure? Hey! <laughs> it took a lot for her to come over here and mend fences, and you're being a complete jerk about it. No one in my life has ever called me a jerk. Oh, yeah? Well, what else haven't you been called? We're running out of time! <laughs> Kitty never loved my son. She married him for his money. It's not true. Kitty's parents were already millionaires. Having a million doesn't make you a millionaire. <laughs> B, you're wrong. Why are you defending her? I thought you two didn't get along. Generally, we don't, but I'll tell you something. When Greg and I had to give up that baby we adopted, Kitty sat with me all day in my bed while I cried. You're a big, blonde pain in the ass. <laughs> give me the phone. I think you should give her that family ring. She's still crabbing about this ring? Well, you hurt her feelings. It's really important to her. It's not gonna look good on those peasant sausage fingers. <laughs> Excuse me, what is in this bag you are hooked up to? Liquid nasty? I'm giving it to her. Thank you. Now cover up my toes, I'm cold. Well, first let me make sure your toenails are dry. Oh. <gasps> Ooh, sexy. See, now you can wear those open-toe shoes at the funeral. <laughs> you know, Dad, I was thinking maybe we should be uh, spending the day with Grandmother. I bet she hates football. <laughs> Come on, Dad. I mean, isn't there anything that you might want to say to her before... You know? She knows how I feel about her. Oh, look, the band. <laughs> I love the band. I wonder if she knows how I feel about her. I'm sure she does. Really? I'm not so sure. I've never told her. Greg, she knows that grandsons love their grandmothers just like children love their parents and husbands love their wives. And I don't see why everyone has to run around blubbering about it. They didn't blubber in your day, did they? Hell no. <laughs> And you know who's to blame for this nonsense? The floral industry and the greeting card industry. Don't forget the diamond industry. They all make my life a living hell. <laughs> oh, look, some guy just parachuted down onto the field. <laughs> I bet he's embarrassed. Come on. Where are we going? Let's go see Grandmother. Yeah. All right. Let's go see Grandmother. very peaceful. I was going to tell her that I loved her. Well, you just did. She's still around. 
Yeah. Oh, for heaven's sakes, Beatrice, you old witch, get up! <laughs> You watch the door, I'll get the ring. I like the sight of you, Dharma. Beatrice wanted me to give it to Kitty and I forgot to get it. Does she have a watch? Oh. <laughs> it's not like she needs a watch. <laughs> Uh-oh, I can't get it off. Here, try this. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you carry around a can of WD-40? <laughs> For situations like this. Besides this, what's a situation like this? <clears throat> oh, God, what are you doing? Not much, what are you doing? No, what are you doing? <laughs> Just checking in on B. she looks so peaceful. Of course, the sound of that ticking watch is gonna drive her crazy. <laughs> Why are you holding a can of WD-40? Because she was squeaking, now she's not. <laughs> Dharma. All right, Greg. Beatrice wanted your mother to have the engagement ring, but she died so suddenly, and now I'm just trying to grant her dying wish. Oh, God. Hurry. Uh, uh, Uncle Fergus, um, she's not uh, ready just yet. How could she not be ready? Um, well, you know women. <laughs> I got it, I got it, I got it! Oh! oh. oh shoot! Dharma! Greg, um, I've given what you said a lot of thought, and I'd like a few moments with my mother to tell her how I feel. Oh, Dad, she knows. Sons love their mothers. Plus, you, you sent the big flowers. <laughs> no, uh, I, I have to see her now. Okay, but, uh, well, you might want to wait, because uh, Dharma and Jane are saying goodbye just now. <laughs> All right, I'll wait. <laughs> Kitty, Beatrice wanted me to give this to you. Oh, my God. It was her dying wish. After all these years. Isn't that beautiful? Well, yes. Technically, of course, you're the new bride. I should give it to you. No, that's all right. You keep it. I'll get it off you someday. <laughs> you will get it from me. Oh, no, I'll get it off you. I know how. As, as we begin our service here this afternoon, we honor a final request of Beatrice Eleanor Montgomery. your uh, violin lesson. Oh, pretty good. Oh, hey, listen. I hope you're not going to be upset by this, but my teacher has the opportunity to play in the San Francisco Philharmonic, and she's really good. And I thought we could lend her the Stradivarius. Is that okay? Are you kidding? Of course. I tell her she can, you know, keep it as long as she needs it. <laughs> so you're not mad? Well, I, I am going to miss your playing. Oh, no, you're not, because look, I got this instead. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> 